Hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome to the third episode of this series where we're building the Flappy Bird game. And up until this point, we have already created the scrolling background as well as the flapping bird. Now it's going to be time to create the pipes which move towards the bird. As always, I'm going to be leaving a link to the other episodes as well as a link to the source code down in the description below. So right now in the editor, I'm exactly where we left off last episode. If I go ahead and run it, you can see that we have the flappy bird and the moving background. The first change we're going to make is we're going to import the module random, which is going to become helpful later on. Next, we're going to create a new class called pipe, which is going to inherit from pygame sprite.sprite. .sprite. The first function in this new class is going to be the init function, which takes the arguments x and y, which are the coordinates of the pipe. And in addition to that, it is also going to take an image. Below that, we're going to initialize the parent class. Then we're going to set self.image equal to the image we're passing in as an argument. Then in order to be able to set the position of the image on our screen, we're going to set self.rectangle equal to self.image.getRect. And subsequently, we can set the x and y position of the rectangle equal to the x and y coordinates that we're passing in as an argument. Next up, we're going to create an update function, which is going to be responsible for moving the pipes from the right hand side of the screen to the left. In order to do that, all we need to do is subtract the scrolling speed from the x position of the image. In addition, we can also delete the image of the pipe as soon as it moves off of the screen. We can accomplish this with an if statement, which states that if the x position of the rectangle is smaller than or equal to the negative value of the window width, then we simply kill the object. Then further below in the main function, we're going to set up the pipes. First, we're going to set the pipe underscore timer variable to zero, and we're going to set pipes equal to pygame.sprite.group. And to this sprite group, we're going to be adding the pipe objects later on in the main loop. So further down below in the main loop, we're going to make sure that we call the draw function on the pipes so that they are displayed on the screen. Besides that, we also want to make sure to call the update function on the pipes. The last thing that we're going to be adding to the main loop is going to be the mechanism that spawns the individual pipes onto the screen. To begin, we're going to check if the pipe timer is smaller or equal to zero. The pipe timer is going to be responsible for setting the interval within which the pipes are being spawned onto the screen. If this condition is true, we're going to set the x top and x bottom variables equal to 550. Afterwards, we're going to set the y value of the top pipe to a random integer between minus 600 and minus 480. Since we want there to be a gap between the top and the bottom pipe, we're going to set the y coordinate of the bottom pipe equal to y top plus a random integer between 90 and 130 plus the bottom pipe image height. Once we've set the coordinates of the top and bottom pipes, all we need to do is we need to add these pipes to the pipes group. Once all of that is done, the last thing we need to do is we need to reset the pipe timer variable equal to a random integer between 180 and 250. Finally, we're going to make sure that we subtract one unit from the pipe timer every while loop iteration. So we're going to be subtracting from the pipe timer until it goes back to zero, which is when we spawn a new pair of pipes. So that's all we need to do to add the pipes. Now, if I go ahead and press the run button, you'll see that the pipes, they start spawning on the right hand side of the screen and they move over towards the bird. Although the pipes move towards the bird, we still have not implemented the collision mechanic. So you can see here in the video footage that the bird is flying through the pipes. So that's what we're going to take care of in the next episode, where we're going to be implementing the collision mechanic. If you want to stay tuned for that, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and see you in the next video.